Hello and welcome to Talking Tolkien. Today we're going to look at the latest in the line of deluxe editions that HarperCollins have released in the UK. And the latest one of that is this, which is Letters from Father Christmas. Now, if you're not familiar with the deluxe edition series, they've been going about, well, it was 2004 when they started, which was the 50th anniversary of Lord of the Rings. So that was something that looked a bit like this. So they've got nice like cardboard slip covers in there, slip cases, uh, and like additional, in some cases, colour pages, things like that. But I'd argue that as the set's gone on, maybe they're not quite as deluxe as they were. Um, but yeah, certainly there's some, some nice additions there. Certainly the latest one was History of Middle Earth, or one of the latest ones, and that was a big box set. There's a video I did about that a while ago. But you can compare there that the deluxe edition isn't really that much different to the standard edition. So we'll have a look at the latest one and see how that measures up. So a quick overview of Tolkien's letters from Father Christmas. It was first published in 1976, three years after Tolkien's death. Um, you've probably seen one that looks a bit like this. But, I mean, this isn't the first edition, this is just one of the later hardback ones. But they're nice because these are the letters that every Christmas, when his family were growing up, Tolkien wrote to his children, which were um, designed as if it was Father Christmas himself who was sending those letters. So there's some really nice like pictures and illustrations in there. And it shows you in these books, you know, you can see the, um, the types of letters he was writing. Just really nice and some nice pictures. Look. Okay, so this is the standard one, and that's, you know, that's been around for years, and you know, that quite easily. So now we've got this one, which is the deluxe edition. Should we open it up? Let's have a look. It's probably going to go wrong. Okay. Take off the nice cellophane. Okay, so first thing, this tells you what it is. Letters from Father Christmas. Every December, J.R.R. Tolkien's children would receive letters from Father Christmas. From their first note to his eldest son in 1920, to the final poignant correspondence to his daughter in 1943. This special version of the book collects together all the remarkable letters and pictures in one enchanting edition. Special features include... Extensive colour frontspiece, showing each of the North Pole stamps that accompanied the letters from Father Christmas. Revised and expanded introduction. All the paintings, drawings, letters and envelopes sent by Father Christmas reproduced in full colour, including some appearing here for the very first time. Definitive version of the text, especially reset for this edition. Quarter bound with white boards, stamped in silver foil and illustrated with Tolkien's own pictures of Father Christmas and the polar bear. Book is housed in a matching custom-built illustrated slipcase, which is presented with a facsimile of one of the North Pole stamps. There you go. Printed on superior paper, including a festive ribbon marker. Festive. And finally, it says this printing is available for a limited time. It said that about the Lord of the Rings one, and that was 15 years ago. It's still around, so I don't know how limited that is. But I tell you, the first thing for this is some of these deluxe editions, you could say there's not been much effort put into them. But this one's really nice. I really think it is. So, yeah, I showed you the slipcase there. So we've got nice festive stuff across the top. There's the stamp. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there's nothing on the side there. So that's the slipcase. And then you get the book itself. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but there's... There you go. Maybe you can see that. So it's like embossed stars. And then on the back, I've got that. So it's actually, it's a really nice looking book. Certainly compared to some of the other ones, I would suggest. Right. Should we have a look inside? Okay, so let's have a, just a closer look at this. I don't know if you can spot this here, whether I'm going to get the light on it. So there's a little embossed area there for the stamp to go on. But unfortunately, the stamp's like not even centre with that. So I don't know if I can actually get that in there. But it's just a shame. It's like quality control when you're talking this much money for something. It's nice and it's effective, but I mean, you can see how these don't line up there. That's because it's been like stuck on the wrong way which I'm not going to go crazy and send it back. Um, but it's, it's not great when you're buying a deluxe edition. 
Okay, so let's have a look inside. Do, 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 do. I was wondering where it was actually printed because it might be printed in China. A lot of these, the first edition was printed in the UK and then they were later printed in China, but unless I'm being blind, I can't see anything there about where it's printed. Hmm. But no, the, the edition itself is really, really nice. There you can see, just an idea of the kind of stuff. I'm not entirely sure what's brand new in here, but yeah, it's a, it's colorful and you've got your festive marker there, festive ribbon, I should say. Um, oh yeah, and all the pictures, full color, see some stuff like this. I don't remember seeing that before. So yeah, it's a nice, nice addition. I think that's everything you need to see on that one. So that's been a look at the deluxe edition of J.R.R. Tolkien's Letters from Father Christmas, released like last week, maybe a couple of days ago. This only arrived yesterday. So anyway, released October 2019. Um, but yeah, I think it's really nice. I could moan, I bought mine off Amazon and there's a few like dinks and stuff on it because the packaging wasn't that good, which when you're paying, I mean, this was nearly 50 pound for a book. I would hope for a bit more, but anyway, I'll have to let it go. So once again, thanks for watching. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more Tolkien videos. And thanks to everyone, by the way, who's subscribed so far. And um, it's been really great to see the, the um, number of people subscribing has grown. And hopefully um, I'll continue to make some interesting videos. Thanks again. Bye.